Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be simplifying a complex rational expression. We have 1 plus square root of 3i divided by square root of 3 minus i to the 8th power and we're going to be simplifying this expression. I'll be presenting at least four methods even though not all of them are going to be complete. I still want to talk about the outlines. So let's start with the first method. Okay, so for my first method, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to go ahead and write these numbers in polar form. So we can go ahead and write the 1 plus root 3i as 2 times e to the power i pi over 3. Now, how do I know that? First of all, if you find the modulus, you're going to see that it's the square root of 1 plus 3, which is 2. And then if you think about the angle whose cosine is 1 half and whose sine is root 3 over 2, you're going to realize the triangle is going to look like this. So you're basically looking at this one is root 3 and this one is i. So that's going to be, um, actually it's the other way around. So basically what you get is 1 plus root 3. So you're going to have a little piece here and a longer piece here. So it's going to look like this, and this is going to be 60 degree angle, okay? Or you can call that pi over 3 radians. And of course, the modulus is going to be 2. Make sense? So that's one of our numbers in polar form. And the other one, uh, if you think about it, it's root 3 minus i. So it's going to be longer here, shorter here, and it's going to look, look like this. And we still get our 30, 60, 90 triangle with the 30 being here. But that's basically 60 degrees short of... Uh, 360, in other words, it's 360 minus 30. You can also think of it as 330 degrees. Or uh, you can write in radians as 2 pi minus pi over 6, which is the same thing as 11 pi over 6. Okay? So that's 11 pi over 6 radians. And the modulus is again 2 from Pythagorean theorem. That's going to be 2 times e to the power i times 11 pi over 6. So what we're going to do now is to divide these numbers, we're going to divide the polar forms 2e to the power i times pi over 3 divided by 2e to the power i times 11 pi over 6, but then the whole thing needs to be raised to the 8th power. Make sense? Okay, great. So the 2's cancel out, and when you divide these two exponentials, you're basically going to subtract the exponents. That's going to give you e to the power i times if you subtract pi over 3, which is 2 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6, the difference is going to be negative 9 pi over 6, which can be written as negative 3 pi over 2. But if you just add 2 pi to it, you're going to notice that it's actually equivalent to pi over 2. So I can basically write this as just pi over 2, which is great, because if you think about it, pi over 2 represents an imaginary number and that will be basically a multiple of i, right? In this case, the modulus is 1 because 2 is canceled out, so this is just going to be i. In other words, e to the power i pi over 2 is the same thing as i. We also use it to evaluate other things. Anyways, that's a different story, but now I can replace e to the power i pi over 2 with i, so the answer is going to be i to the 8th power. But remember, we looked at powers of i before, this is i to the 4th squared, but i to the 4th is always 1, so this is just going to be 1. So the answer is 1. Okay? Great, so let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So for my second method, since I'm trying to raise something to the 8th power, before I raise it to the 8th power, I'd like to simplify inside the parentheses. So let's go ahead and simplify this first. 1 plus root 3i over root 3 minus i. How do you simply how do you divide complex numbers? Okay, so we multiply by the conjugate root 3 plus i and root 3 plus i. In the numerator, we're going to distribute 1 times root 3 plus i plus root 3i times root 3 is just going to be plus 3i. And finally, when you multiply root 3i by i, you're going to get root 3i squared or just negative root 3. Since i squared is equal to negative 1, remember that. 
And at the bottom we have dif uh, sum, I was gonna say difference, but it's actually sum of two squares, three plus one, which is four. So these two cancel out, and now we get four i divided by four, which is i, and now we're supposed to raise this to the eighth power, and i to the eighth as before is going to be one. One more time, okay? Great, so the second method basically uses um, the conjugates, the complex conjugates, and simplifies the inside first, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at the third method, and we can talk about fourth, possibly fifth method. So the third one is basically we have this expression, and what we're going to do is do a little bit of manipulation here. I noticed that one is the opposite of negative one, and negative one can be written as i squared. So I'm just going to write the one as negative i squared. And the, go the goal behind it is to make it factorable. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and take out an i here. So we can basically take out the i and write this as negative i plus root three. And at the bottom we have root three minus i. And then we can go ahead and cancel these two out because they are the same. And this becomes i to the eighth power again. And i to the eighth power is i to the fourth squared, which is one, because i to the fourth is equal to one, okay? All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at the fourth method. The fourth method basically uses something that you would probably not use, but I'm still going to talk about it. And like I said earlier, this is going to be incomplete. Okay? So here's how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and separate the numerator and the denominator into two eighth powers. So like it, write it like this and like that. Now at this point, we can proceed in different ways. We could definitely go ahead and use polar forms one more time and then raise each one to the eighth power. Remember, we had the pi over 3 and the 11 pi over 6, right? So we can go ahead and do that. And when you are doing it, for example, let's just do the numerator real quick. This is going to be 2 times e to the power i pi over 3. When you raise this to the eighth power, what you need to do is raise 2 to the eighth. And so let's just put that, that, that there. And then here you're going to multiply the angle, the argument by 8. So that's going to give you e to the power i times 8 pi over 3. But of course, 8 pi over 3 is greater than 2 pi, so you can take out multiples of 2 pi. 8 pi over 3, if you subtract 6 pi over 3 from it, you're going to end up with 2 pi over 3. So that's going to be the principal value. And then you can just plug it in and find the value. And something similar for the bottom and you should be able to get the exact same answer. But again, this is a longer way to do it, but I still wanted to show you real quick. The longest way probably would be just using the binomial theorem, which is probably something that you would never do, but if you raise a plus b to the eighth power by using the binomial theorem, then you should get the same answer. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.